Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi, welcome with me Desi Aywangi Okay, in this video we'll discuss about the research and development in English language teaching subject With the title, specifying a purpose, research questions or hypothesis For the first, we must know what is the definition of purpose statement Research question, research hypothesis, and research objective Okay, we come to the first Purpose statements Purpose statements is a declarative statement that advances the overall direction or focus for the study And then, research questions Research questions is interrogative statements that narrow the purpose statement to specific questions that researchers seek to answer in their study and then research hypothesis research hypothesis is declarative statements in quantitative research in which the investigator makes a prediction or conjecture about the outcomes relationship and the last one is research objective research objective is a statement of intent for the study that specifies specific goals that the investigator plans to achieve in a study okay everybody now we will enter to distinguishing among various forms of direction and research you can see in the pictures okay uh, forms differ in intent or their role in research form or their appearance in studies use or their application in quantitative and qualitative approaches and placement or their location in research reports knowing these differences can help us design write and evaluate them okay once again you can see the pictures now we come to why are the statements and question important importance of purpose statement and research question there are these statements are cipher similar to this statement or objectives in term papers without clear cipher will not know central idea addressed in your study Author could also identify the most appropriate methods for collecting data from the purpose statement and the questions. Provides key components for understanding the result of a project. And the last, good research links the purpose statements and question to major results. And then write quantitative purpose statement, research questions, and hypothesis. For the first, writing quantitative purpose statement. After clarity of the background about variables and the theory, now it's easy to write down quantitative purpose statement, research questions, and hypothesis. First, you specify the elements that go into a good purpose statement. Display a script that you can complete to help you design this statement and illustrate the use of this script using examples. Writing quantitative research questions. Research question narrow and focus the purpose statement and restate the purpose in specific questions that researchers seek to answer. Research questions describe the participants' reaction to a single variable, compare groups on an outcome or relate to variables. Research questions are found in all designs in quantitative research, such as in experiments, correlation studies, and survey. The basic steps in forming a research questions are post a questions begin with how, what, or why. Specify the independent, dependent, and mediating or control variables. Use the words 
describe, compare, relate to, indicate the action or connections among the variables, indicate the participants and the research side of the study. And then writing a quantitative hypothesis. Hypothesis narrow the purpose statement in quantitative research, but advance a prediction about what the researcher expects to find. Researcher can make these predictions on the basis of literature that, that suggests certain outcomes. Hypotheses are not used to describe a single variable as a phone in the case of research questions. They also not used as frequently as research questions because they pre represent a formal statement of relationship and the prediction of the relationship is not be known. Researchers narrow the focus of the study to at least one hypothesis that provides a prediction about the outcomes of the study. Okay, now we come to write qualitative purpose statement and research questions. For the first, writing qualitative purpose statement. There are first care needs to be given to writing a good purpose statement that reflects the directions of the study and then indicates the intent to explore or understand the central phenomenon with specific individuals at a certain research site. Inquirer write this purpose statement as a single sentence and typically include it in a study at the end of the introduction. And the last material is writing qualitative research questions. Research questions narrow the purpose of the study into specific questions. Are open-ended general questions that the researcher would like answered during the study. And the guidelines there are expect your qualitative research questions to change during study to reflect the participants' views of central phenomenon and growing and deeper the understanding of it. Five to seven questions are enough to permit the participants to share information. Emphasis on learning information from the participants rather than what the researcher seeks to know. Use neutral, exploratory language refrain from confusing and expected direction and the last design and write two types of qualitative research questions the central and sub questions hello everybody i think that's all for me i'm tacy ewani if you find any mistake please forgive me as i say wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh see you next time